Reading a book in a language you don't fully understand can be daunting. And that's how millions of Africans feel trying to use generative AI tools like ChatGPT, Gemini and Copilot. There is this risk that if um, technical systems don't speak in your language, you are completely shut out. And this then has implications even for the development of communities, not just African, it could be Latin American, it could be Asian, who also have sh these shared histories of um, growth of their languages of development being stopped because of colonialism and conquest between those areas. To change that, academics across South Africa, Kenya and Nigeria are creating African Next Voices, the continent's largest language database. 9,000 hours of everyday speech in 18 dialects have already been recorded, paving the way for apps that go far beyond English, Chinese or European languages. What uh, we're hoping with not just this project, but there's many other projects that have been going on uh, for the last eight years or so in building more and more resources uh, for African languages is that these then become foundations that other innovators then build on and give access to more and more people to different types of services. Ambani Africa develops mother tongue learning programs in languages such as Isizulu and Isikosa. Creating content without a comprehensive digital record was a major hurdle. It was very hard at the beginning because a lot of um, so a lot of um, languages don't have certain words. So you can translate from English to some to, to Zulu, but you you might lose the essence. We began um, Ambani as a whole using translators and um, voiceover artists. So we basically did things a lot more manually than how we kind of developed where we are now. The new database aims to bridge that gap and shape the future of innovation in African languages. I think definitely um, having that, that bank of all the different kind of languages, because we don't want to just stop here. We want to go across Africa. I mean, on the kids' app already, we've got a bit of Shona, a bit of Yoruba. We want to transcend all the way up into Africa to the tip and be able to um, cater for all universities in the country, in the world. Beyond education, native language apps and chatbots are making it easier to connect, communicate and do business. It's not all about convenience, but also about preserving culture, protecting identity, unlocking opportunity and giving Africans a voice in the future of global tech. Judy Shara, CGTN, Cape Town.